Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with Atlanta Falcons news. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. Tell you if you come to chat Falcons football with your boy. Also, join the man, Mike, membership, one nine nine five nine nine nine. All right, so let's get straight to it, man. Um, in the quest for a general manager, this is just a, a rumor as um, things continue to heat up as the season go on. I expect the Atlanta Falcons to hire a general manager. Some, um, I really think it's going to be either the second, uh, the first and second month uh, week of January. This is where I predict, just looking at past um, behaviors and of the Atlanta Falcons and how they do things. Rich McKay, Arthur Blank, they want to kind of get... Um, you know get the things quickly so i expect this to heat up around january well kind of hire the guy after the season um but um the guy and uh that everybody is kind of this is just a rumor okay so you can take that with a grain of salt um but according to um a aaron wilson of the nfl um nfl network these guys are expecting um rick smith uh texas uh, general manager, former general manager, um, who's recently let go. Um, but when you look at his credentials and who he's um, connected to, man, this is something that I, I think is incredibly, uh, I think this is incredibly notable. And I think this is incredibly um, worth mentioning. Um, again, man, when you look at the Texans and how they built that defense, um, these guys or responsible for some really good players. You look at guys like the Davion Young Clown, you look at guys like J.J. Watt, for example, man, and the Falcons definitely are in need of just building the defense. So for me personally, man, um, this is something that I second. Um, to be honest, I've looked at his resume, I've looked at his credentials and whatnot. We're gonna have an article, um, Devontae, Devontae Hughes of the, um, Georgia Sports Hospitality and Media Group. He will be dropping his thoughts on it also. I will link that in the community tab for you guys to see that for yourselves. Um, but man, I, I think this is a, a credible source. I think this is, well, not so much a credible source. You can kind of take it as, as you want. Uh, for me personally, I will, if it's not coming from Adam Schefter, Ian Rappaport, you know, these types of guys that have known and have the history of actually being, um, you know, that being on point. Um, you can take it as you want, but I'm just going to say, man, I really like this choice. Um, you look at what Rick Smith has done. Yeah, he's had some some misses which GM you know every GM has had some misses but he's had some incredible uh, hits and like I said JJ Watt is one of the best linemen uh, in the history of the, in, in, in the history of the league so when you look at it that like that man um, what Rick Smith is um, I think for the most part what the Falcons are looking for in the general manager is a guy with experience um, the Falcons are not in uh, a, a mode where they're looking to kind of you know, rebuild. They're not in rebuilding mode at all. So, despite what a lot of people, you know, think and feel in their heart, um, or they're clamoring for, um, your ideas. I don't think that matters at this point because, look, man, the Falcons have two to three years left uh, with Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, and they're trying to maximize that so they can compete for championships. So, bringing in a guy that doesn't have the necessary uh, experience at general manager, head coach. I just don't think that's something that the Falcons are in, you know, I really just don't think the Falcons are in, you know, considering. Um, Matt Ryan is a guy at this point in time, he and Julio Jones, even Calvin Ridley at this point. Calvin Ridley is, is beyond a guy that with an experience, a head coach. You bring in an offensive coordinator that doesn't necessarily know what he's doing and he's experimenting, he's never had, you know, as a lot of people have been talking about lately with Eric B. Enemy. Eric B. Enemy doesn't have a lot of experience calling plays. Outside of his um, time in college and his offense wasn't that good in college, um, these, like, they, they, there's, he's not, he doesn't necessarily have a lot of experience. So I don't think bringing in a guy with, um, you know, Calvin Ridley, who is, to me, to be honest, when you look at his contribution this year, I, I think he, definitely deserves to be a 
a Pro Bowl. I think he deserved to be a Pro Bowl. Maybe he'll be an alternate, but you bring in a young guy to kind of try to groom or uh, 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 kind of recreate what, um, you know, but uh, well, not talk really, but uh, Calvin Ridley is. I just don't think that's something that the Falcons are, are really looking. So it would have to be somebody with experience. I'm hearing a lot of guys as far as the head coach is concerned, uh, Marvin Lewis. And if you go back to Tampa Bay, um, his days uh, in Tampa Bay, this is a guy that uh, Rich McKay has interviewed in the past. So I I'm hearing a lot of... I'm hearing a lot of rumors as far as Marvin Lewis. His name is heating up in the coaching, um, uh, the coaching hiring circle. So, um, but as far as the GM is, is concerned, I think at this point in time, the Falcons are looking for for someone with experience, both head coach and general manager. Let me know if you guys um, are hearing anything about you know any other candidate. What's candidates that you would uh, prefer? the uh, Falcons to kind of go after whether it's head coaches or general managers. Leave your comments below, man. Continue to support your boy here at Matt Mike Sports, man. Again, um, Rick Smith is a guy that I absolutely love. Um, I like. I won't necessarily say love. Um, but um, he has the experience. He's done it before. And like I said, if you go back and you look at that Texans, um, you look at that Texans team, you look at that Texans defense, they've always had um, very good players, man. Um, so uh, I'm going to continue to bring you guys nothing but the latest news and rumors around the NFL. Rick Smith, okay? According to, um, this is just one, all right? This is just the beginning. You're going to get a lot of these videos from me. Um, but Rick Smith um, is highly respected around the NFL. Um, he has a lot of pool. Um, he has a lot of pull as far as the you know, competition committee is concerned. So the Falcons are really looking for guys with experience and who has, you know, pulled around the NFL, who's had, who's well respected around the NFL. This is what they are. These guys are they're looking for guys with a, a good, uh, a deep resume and experience and who's been there, who's done that. The Falcons are not in any shape or form looking for an experimental guy. So our Falcons fans, Falcons fans, I'm here to tell you, if you think that the Falcons are going to bring in a Lincoln Riley or Eric Bieniemy who don't have a ton of experience, I'm here to tell you that you, chances are that you will be incredibly wrong, okay? And that might hurt a lot of people's feelings, but that's the truth. I do not think that the Falcons will waste their time bringing in a guy with inexperience, with an experienced offense, experienced defense these guys want experience so you may you may very well get your heart broken if you're looking for young energetic offensive coordinator defensive coordinator even head coach uh a head coach or general manager so continue to support your boy here at Matt mike sports i will continue to bring you nothing but the the news the rumors is heating up man it is getting towards the end of the season man the the draft picks um, I, you know, I'm going to have the questions. I'm going to have you answer you guys' questions. I'm going to try to do a little bit of um, you know, research on uh, the prospects that are going to be quarterback, running back. I mean, every position. So you guys continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports. And your boy, Mad Mike, is out, man. Peace.